Hey everyone! In this video, I'm going to share multiple ways to earn using Canva. But first, let me introduce myself. My name is Jeka. I am a former secondary teacher who transitioned into becoming a virtual assistant and freelancer. In 2021, I began creating courses for virtual assistants and social media managers. A year later, I started selling on Etsy, Rocket PH, Gumroad, and Shopify. So if you want an in-depth lesson on digital product selling, I've created a beginner-friendly course where I share all the strategies I use to build a successful digital product selling business. If you're interested, I leave the link in the description. You might be wondering, can you really earn using Canva? The answer is yes. To give you a brief background, I started offering VE courses in 2021. Many of my students ask for soft copies of the templates I use in my VA and social media management work. A year later, I began selling those templates, unaware at the time that what I was selling were digital products. I just knew they were Canva templates. Fast forward to today, I'm earning through multiple platforms and this journey has helped me reach many of my personal goals. I used to be a passionate teacher who felt something was missing, but now I'm a thriving digital product seller. So why Canva is a great tool among all the available design platforms? First, it's free and beginner friendly. You can create a free account that already provides essential design features. If needed, you can upgrade to a pro account with a monthly or yearly subscription. It's beginner-friendly because it's drag-and-drop interface, unlike more complicated design software. Canva is also versatile for generating different income streams. I've used it to sell digital products and offer services. It's also cloud-based and accessible via mobile app or browser and even on laptop or computer. Canva is constantly evolving and now they're integrating ai which is a great help for vas freelancers and digital product sellers since ai is becoming common across plat all platforms canva has been incorporating it as well there are three main ways to earn using canva first is become a canva creator second offer digital services and third sell digital products to become a Canva creator, visit their website and apply. You can choose to be a template creator where you design ready-to-use templates in Canva, an element creator where you provide photos, illustrations, fonts, videos, or graphics, or a qualified teacher contributing educational content. Once accepted, you can publish your designs and earn royalties whenever they are used. Next is offering digital services, such as social media management. As a social media manager, I use Canva to create Facebook and Instagram posts, carousels, cover photos, and ad creatives. Canva also supports video editing, thumbnails, branding assets, logos, email graphics, newsletters, marketing materials, flyers, brochures, presentations, slide decks, brand guides, and web design templates. For instance, the website banners and hero images I created were all done in Canva. You can also create blog graphics even if uh, full landing pages since Canva now allows simple website creation. Another opportunity is creating custom Canva templates. For example, if a client needs social media templates aligned with their branding, you can design those. If the client specializes in health or nutrition and wants a lead magnet like a recipe ebook, you can create that in Canva. You can also design presentation templates, ebook layouts, and marketing materials. You can even offer coaching or consulting services teaching others how to use Canva. You can offer tutorials or courses, setting up their Canva account, building a brand kit, or even optimizing their Canva workflow. Another option is becoming a content creator. 
wherein you focus on Canva hacks, tips, and tutorials. For example, some creators on YouTube now include AI-powered Canva tips in their videos. You can earn from this content through views and monetization. So, where can you offer these services? You can use platforms like Upwork. Just create an account and search for jobs related to the services you provide, such as social media graphics. Upwork allows you to connect with clients globally. There's also Online Jobs PH, which helps Filipino freelancers connect with foreign clients. Fiverr is another platform where you post services like Canva templates or social media graphics and wait for clients to book. You can also offer services on LinkedIn where professionals and business owners look for freelancers or go organic and post your services on Facebook or Instagram and interested clients can message you directly. Aside from services, you can also sell digital products like Canva templates, which were my first digital products. This includes social media templates, planners, checklists, trackers, lead magnets, ebook templates, invitation templates, and school templates. When selling templates, it's important to start from scratch rather than using Canva's pre-designed templates even with minor edits. This respects Canva's policies and the original creators. You can also sell niche-specific templates such as party printables like invitations, itineraries, table numbers, banners, and tags. Another idea is selling low-content books for Amazon KDP like planners, journals, or activity books. Canva makes it easy to design the interiors and covers. Once uploaded to Amazon KDP, they'll handle printing and fulfillment. No need for physical inventory. Other digital products include the ready-to-print downloads like coloring books. These don't require editing by the customers. There's also print-on-demand, design new design products like shirts, mugs, tote bags, and posters in Canva. Then upload them to platforms like Printful, Redbubble, Teespring, or Etsy. These platforms print and fulfill orders just like the Amazon KDP. Where can you sell your digital products? There are several e-commerce platforms. I use Etsy because it's a marketplace for digital and physical products. While it charges a registration fee um, ranging from $15 to $29, it's a one-time setup fee. And there are other fees like listing fees, processing fees, and some other fees you, which you need to pay on Etsy. The good thing about it is it has a large customer base. So if you have the budget, Etsy is a great starting point. Another option is Gumroad. Unlike Etsy, Gumroad doesn't have its own audience. So you need to promote your products on social media. Similar to Gumroad, we have the Rocket PH here in the Philippines for local clients. Although some international buyers struggle with check out on rocket ph that's why i also list products on gumroad it's actually better for global clients i also sell through woocommerce and shopify where i built my own websites shopify is more expensive than woocommerce but both offer full customization so unlike etsy or gumroad where the design of your store is very limited on woocommerce or shopify your own website lets you choose brand colors and structures. However, you need to know how to manage an e-commerce site. Lastly, you can sell on Amazon KDP. If you want to learn more, I'll add the link in my bio. So if you prefer direct-to-customer sales like uh, on using Facebook and Instagram, you can post your products and just ask your customers to message you for orders. Uh, just take note that when you're selling on social media, what you do is manual selling. So you'll need to send files yourself 
uh, to your customers. Unlike for other e-commerce platforms like Etsy, Rocket PH, um, they automate this process from delivering products immediately to your customers after they purchase. So these are the ways you can earn using Canva. So if you want to start your own digital product business, join my digital profits group where I teach all the strategies I've used and you'll learn everything you need to know. And uh, you can also get access to hundreds of ready to sell templates. You just have to modify them to fit your branding and either sell them to end users or resell them to fellow digital sellers. And that's it. If you have any questions about selling with Canva, feel free to leave them in the comments. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Thank you. See you on the next one.